It's true that indoor farming as a sector has been overhyped and overfunded. From making grandiose promises about solving climate change that it can't deliver on, to overfunding research and development and not properly utilizing existing grow technology, to even scandal. But despite all of this, indoor farms still offer viable solutions to problems in the food industry. And in this video, I'm gonna give you three. Number one is food miles, which is the distance produce has to travel from farm to grocery store. On average, produce travels 1,500 miles before getting to a grocery store in the US. And because of the vast places humans like to live, it's harder to get produce to some areas over others. Indoor farms provide an unprecedented way to get fresh produce to as extreme as a desert or Antarctica to a normal city in the US, which as of late, more of which have been becoming food deserts, which is a term being used to describe places where it's hard for people to get fresh food and better yet, healthy fresh food. This is 165 square feet and with eight aeroponic towers and four microgreen groin racks, this room can produce over 300 pounds of food every 30 to 45 days. And it can do it year round, including in some places where they don't have access to electricity. Now the second problem is intermingled with the first, but it's such an issue, it demands respect on its own. And that's the reality of the negative health effects associated with things like herbicides and pesticides of things like genetically modified crops, of preservatives sprayed on produce to last long transit. There have been numerous studies done and they are not good. And interestingly, GMOs have actually never had human trials, only on animals, and they were also not good. And lastly, the loss of nutrition due to consuming food so far after it's been harvested. Most produce is going to lose over 50% of its nutritional value in the first seven days. And some studies on particular crops like spinach have shown that they can lose up to 95% of say their vitamin C in 48 hours. Folks, it is crazy that in a world where we're already dodging artificial sweeteners and dyes and processed foods, even the food that should be good for us isn't. Is it any wonder that the USDA says that malnutrition is the leading cause of illness in the US? Or the shocking stats that 85% of healthcare spending is due to diet-based chronic disease? And I don't believe this is just physical, but access to healthy, fresh food is also linked to proper mental health as well. From the time it takes to harvest, package, ship, sits on the shelves, you finally buy it and open it. The simple fact is the only way to start to solve this problem is going to be to eliminate food miles. Indoor farms do that. And by being local, they also don't need preservatives. And by growing indoors, we have no need for things like pesticides or herbicides. And I think we bring something that's so innovative and really just hasn't been done before, which is that indoor farms like this give you the food closest to harvest than you can get anywhere else. Delivered right after it's been cut fresh, bringing the absolute most nutritional value to the customer that none of these other types of farming businesses can get even close to folks. Okay, the last problem that indoor farms solve is actually meeting the demand for the exact types of produces that indoor farms excel in. In 2022, the USDA reported that the U.S. vegetables market had surpassed $20 billion in just cash receipts, one-fifth of which was just iceberg and romaine. And now in 2024, Statistica reports that the U.S. vegetables market will hit $90 billion and should grow by 5% every year. This is a massive growing market. The demand for food in indoor farms can meet this demand. Did you know that worldwide, just the medicinal herbs market is estimated at $300 billion, 10 billion of which 
is from U.S. consumers in just dietary supplements. These spaces are just filled with crops that indoor farms can excel in, can grow better than many ground-based farms. And due to the fact we can control everything about this environment, we can even bring out particular traits, enhance certain flavors, and again, produce a more nutritious plant. In the end, indoor farming solves all these problems and I think is a huge business opportunity. Billions of dollars flooded into this space and so many of them failed because when big money came in and made promises they couldn't keep and overspent on R&D, they dropped the bag. For small guys like me to come in, pick it up, begin to properly use the technology to solve these problems and meet the growing consumer demand. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Share this video with somebody who talks badly about indoor farming. And if you wanna see more, subscribe.